Welcome to Landry Anka on YouTube, here to help you break through those fears and live an awesome life. Some big changes going on. Holy cow, big changes. This is April of 2019. Major stuff going on. Physical stuff still happening. I've had a lot of physical things happening that are very strange. And I don't know what it is, but I think that our DNA is changing. I think that that's a fact. I know there's some scientific research that's showing that that is happening. That junk DNA that's been sitting there dormant isn't junk at all. It has not, it wasn't activated. There was no use for it. We were not in that dimension that could make it useful, right? We were not in that unlimited quantum field that could possibly activate that DNA, and now we are, and we have been receiving some major stuff that's been coming down on the planet. The planet's been changing electromagnetic fields. I mean, we've been just, things have been happening that are off the charts. Get ready for it. So it's time for us to get our act together. And the time clock is ticking here on planet Earth because we have made up time here somehow. We've managed to do that. All right, so I want you to participate in something fun if you would like with me today. I'm going to give you one exercise. It's going to be more advanced uh, manifesting and uh, this one will be fun for you because this is a I, you know I love to give you some fun things to just focus on and this is the classroom we're going into the classroom alright all of the things that bother you all of the blocks all of the sadness all of the things you have been through I want you to consider that you are in a classroom. Every single thing that you experience, every thought, every whatever challenge that comes to you is a question on a test. The tougher questions you get, see when you go into college or where, whatever you study, you don't go in and go say, well, what? I've got a test. And then you say, well, this is difficult. I can't answer this question. No, you, you know that if you're going to pass that class, you have to pass those tests. You have to answer those questions correctly. So you study for it. You do your best. You, you have to know what it is you're going into. You are in a classroom, and everything you do is a test. Every single thing you do is a test, including what's going through your little brain there, those thoughts because everything is known to the quantum field, the one, everything, every thought, every intention. You can say and think whatever you want, but if your intentions are selfish of a negative nature, it's time to clean it up. Ask yourself every time you have a thought, when you do something, you judge someone, you have a comment, you go into a debate, did I just pass that test? What's passing the test? Going into the highest possible response. What's the highest possible response? One of no judgment. One of no separation. One of pure compassion. All of it has to come from the highest frequency. And if you get a test and somebody irritates the heck out of you, are you taking that moment, this is the power of now, right? Take that moment and say, here we go, there's a test. That's a test. Annoying co-worker opens their pie hole. <laughs> there's your test. Ooh, there's my test. If it, if it hits you at all, if it, it you know, hits a chord at all, it doesn't feel right, there's your test. Because that, that spot that it's hitting is the place you need, you need to, in a positive way, improve upon. That's why it's bothering you. That's the spot you need to master. That's the test you need to master and you have it. And that's why it's feeling bad. So when you have an uh, annoying boss and it's just driving you insane, 
I'm not saying you should stay in that job because we have choices. This is part of making choices is it's time to get out of these situations. Start making choices. If this is not working and there's a higher place for you to be, start making good choices. But in the meantime, that test allows you to ask yourself if you can be at peace with that moment. You will still feel, you will still feel the discomfort. That never goes away, by the way. The Dalai Lama experiences discomfort and anger. You experience it, you don't react to it in a negative way. It just blows by like a cloud. That's passing the test. All right, there it is again, and you, you take a step back and you say, an enlightened being, the enlightened being that I know I am, has no, puts no value on that, those words that were spoken, because I do not have to accept them or believe them. And a higher frequency me is not affected by that. Why? I'm only I'm here temporarily. What's the big whoop? Right? That person can't really harm me. And if I'm in a situation where I'm taking some abuse, then I have to ask myself why I would go into that space. And that I do not have to blame that person, but just say to myself, I do not have to accept that gift. And therefore, I will step away and choose a higher frequency. There are choices within everything. Am I going to pass the test? Part of the test for some of you is to ask yourself if you're going to continually expose yourself to lower frequencies because you just don't value yourself. You've believed something somebody told you. You tolerate bad behavior, which continues to reinforce the lower frequencies. You're enabling somebody else to continue to act a certain way. You're not responsible for their actions. You're responsible for fueling that fire for it with them. Everything is a test for you, every single thing. How is this affecting me? How am I feeling? Here's my test. What am I going to do with this energy? Do I, do I need to walk away? And look at this and say, okay, I do not have to allow this to disrupt my peace. This is another person. This is another expression of the one. Can I be compassionate? Every time this person speaks, they're coming from anger and, and pain. They're experiencing pain somewhere. Otherwise, it would never speak to you that way if it's a lower frequency. People that have to have their opinions right or, you know, why are people doing it this way or that, they are coming from a lower frequency because they, their ego still requires control over the world, and they don't have it. They are absolutely in an unconscious place, and they just don't even know that they're acting that way. Why are, why are people acting like me, speaking like me, dressing like me? They're in the lower frequency. They don't even know that, that they're judging, that their ego's in control. So, bye, big whoop. It doesn't have to bother you. Right? Every single thing is a question on a test. You would never complain about that. If you were in school, you would know that this is tough and that you, in order to pass, you have to do your best. This is no different. In fact, this is the biggest test of all. The big one. And this one, you don't want to flunk. There's a test. Ooh, ooh, there's a test. And then you don't look at what they're doing. You look at what you're doing and you say, okay, what's going on here? That that even bothered me. What's going on here? And then you look at that and say, I can change this. That's just an expression. Why, why would I feel something negative about that? And like I said, if it's a job and you have this constant negative energy, negative energy, Dalai Lama says, if there's neg negative energy, this, uh, this is a quote, if there's negative energy in the room, get away from it. I was shocked when I read that. that was, I read that like 20 years ago, maybe more. Yeah, more than 20 years ago. I read that and went, wow. I thought you were supposed to like help the person, get away from it. It's not your job to enlighten somebody. Find out why you have the negative thinking or why you don't believe you are powerful and just do it or take my e-course that uh, quantum 
meditation I just took for an hour is out of my e-course and it's pretty powerful, I gotta tell you something. It's really powerful stuff. Why? We start going and we look at all this stuff. Why am I doing this? It's very individualized. You can be on my channel all you want, but if you really want to dig deep into your own personal stuff and clear it out, go take my e-course. It's down here in the description. You can go to LandriaAnka.com. Go into Breakthrough Fear. I've got a, two more courses coming out after that, and they're taking you to advanced manifesting because you're doing it with the thought at every moment. The problem that we have as human beings is we're not controlling that. We just don't believe that it's doing any damage. We don't believe that that little chatter in the head is actually creating stuff out there. And it is. Everything is seen. I want you to imagine your whole head cracked open and every thought that you have is known by everybody. Ooh, not so nice, huh? That's exactly what's going to happen, too. Everything will be known. It already has happened. So, are you ready to graduate? Everything's a test, and the tougher ones are when you feel bad or somebody has tripped a trigger for you. Wow, that's the best one. This is a tough question. What's, the, what's this one? Okay. Wow, let's look at this. Am I going to pass this? Am I going to pass this one? And that is, what's that highest frequency I can go into with this this question with this test that I'm getting right now. You're whole and perfect, strong and powerful, loving, harmonious, and happy. Blessings to you, my friend. Namaste.